Okay, I'm going to um, talk about how you can make your slab box. So you want to either um, toss your clay or roll your clay out. You don't want it much thicker than your pinky um, so that you have nice pieces of slab that you can use for your box. At school, we use this machine called a slab roller, but at home, you'll roll out your pieces. Once you have your pieces rolled out, you want to cut them into five squares. Um, when you're at home, make sure you guys are using your stick, not a knife. Um, these are four by four inch squares. You can make them three by three inch or a little smaller. And you guys have a wood stick that's good for a ruler. So you want to cut out at least um, four squares, uh, uh, five squares. So you have a top. You don't need a bottom because you're not making a lidded box. So after you cut out your squares, it's a good idea to let them get to leather hard. So if you roll them out, and cut them out one day. Then if you put paper towel between each of them and put them in your bag overnight, they'll firm up a little bit and they'll be a lot easier to put together when they're not so floppy and soft. Um, that works much, much better to let them. So it's good to put paper towel on them and let them firm up a little bit overnight to so that leather hard stage. Then you can kind of um, smooth down the edges a little bit and then you're gonna slip and score your pieces together. So she has this yellow scoring tool, you um, this smoothing tool, and you guys have your scoring tool. Your um, stick works good or your metal scoring tool. So you can start to slip and score those edges together to start to make your box form. It's really important that you are applying slip like she's doing and scoring those edges. She uses a fork. You guys have your scoring tool that works really well for that. And you want to score all the edges wherever you attach. So apply slip and score all the pieces together. Otherwise, your box will crack in the firing. It's very, very important that you do this. So all of the sides, you're going to slip and score together to make your box form. So she's using a fork. You guys will use your scoring tool. And you're going to slip and score all of those sides together to make your form. So then it's really important to put coils of clay in the seams. Seams are where the two pieces of clay touch. And so if you roll them out skinny and put them in there, her clay looks a little different, by the way, because she's using what's called earthenware. It's like flower pot clay. We use stoneware, which is kind of white. So after you press it in there, then you just put a little bit of water on your fingers or just use your finger and smear it so that you really don't get cracks in it when it fires. That's the important thing when you're working with that. And then you're gonna to put together all of your sides of your box form, and then you can flip it over and decorate it like Steve, the Minecraft character.